Uh, this film deals with new mutants who are grappling with their burgeoning mutant abilities, which includes feelings of insecurity and persecution, angst and triple, typical growing pains. Being a teenager is a horror story in itself. Do you think teenagers today face similar issues and problems? Did you have, uh, did that have any effect on you taking the role or did it help you uh, in the creation of your character? I think the thing is, if you're lucky enough to be of a certain age, every person has been through teenage dumb. You know, every person can draw on something that connects us all. Um, teenagers today, they've got social media, which I mean, I think I was born in 96, so I was, I was around when it was like coming up, but I think that must be really, really stressful nowadays. Um, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, I, I think, I mean, we've talked about this so much there, but it's the, the growing pains of, of, you know, getting the pressures heightened and being expected so much and you know so little and you have your body changing and you're exponentially having to mature um, really quickly. So uh, people from all over the world can relate to that if you're of a certain age, for sure. Cool. Charlie, anything to add or? Um, kind of just, yeah, what we spoke about and what they said. Uh, I think, yeah, the kind of, you know, X-Men and the Mutants has, has always done a great job of kind of looking at uh, social issues and, uh, and, and yeah, it's the same with this really. It's the idea of being, being different and feeling like you're an outcast, you know, even when you're not. And I think, you know, when you're a teenager, you, you do essentially feel different to everyone around you or you can feel different to everyone around you. You know, you're not alone, and that's kind of the message of the movie: is you're not alone, and as teens, you're not, you know. Alone. Great. Uh, so, the New Mutants is the first horror thriller to be set in Marvel's X-Men universe. It's also the first big studio film to come out during months and months of quarantining uh, due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. Um, do you see horror films as a means of escape, and if so, why? Yeah, it's crazy Ooh. horror films and the, how yeah. powerful they can be i mean people enjoy going to the cinema to be terrified and yeah that's a powerful medium i mean you know we like to be terrified in a safe space and kind of have your blood pump and have that you know and be sweating and be afraid and it, 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 it that's really you know really powerful that you can go and experience fear in a safe environment uh and i think that's why people love horror so much and also to see a glimpse of hope, you know, I think some horror movies uh, do it really well is to, to show hope in uh, extreme situations and how we all uh, have to come to terms with the fears that we have naturally as, as, as humans, even if it's growing up or if it's a scary situation. I think it tells a lot about the audience more than it does about the movie. Um, yeah. Great. Uh, in your film, your characters are sequestered in an isolated hospital, um, and they everyone eventually forms friendships with another with one another over their mutant abilities and their desire to escape. Off camera, do you feel that you all bonded as well? And if so, how? Yeah, Completely, yeah. I mean, you know, you you're all going through. You know, we're all as actors and uh, as young actors, we're all going through this experience together. Of, you know getting jobs, learning, learning from each other. Uh, and then, especially with this, you know, there's an expect a, quite a large expectation when you join a superhero movie, to kind of make these characters live up to the the comic characters. And, uh, you know, so you all kind of confide in each other and, 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 and help each other, you know, in that process. And then just as, we, you know, we're early 20s when we, when we make this movie. So just as young 20 year olds all kind of coming together you know, you're gonna have, you're gonna kind of bond and connect. So true. Yeah. And also, right. I, I was joking with. Sorry, you go. No, no let's, please. Let's move on. <laughs> no, no, that 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 was my last question. So, anything you'd like to add? No, no, no. I was I was just gonna say we were joking with Josh that uh, you know people complain about quarantine, saying, "Oh, I'm cooped in," but you know, this is how this is how most of our <laughs> lives is actually spent. We're cooped in somewhere, filming something if if we're lucky and. And we were cooped in together. So I, I think the world's experiencing something pretty similar to what we do. That was all I had. <laughs> basically saying being an actor is a lonely, lonely job. 
lonely, lonely drive. <laughs> All right, uh, and cut decks on that. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you. Hey, stay with me as I'm more on superhero movies. Now, Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa very nearly ended up in the MCU. Now, Momoa was going to be cast as Drax, but Marvel were unwilling to pay him what he wanted. And meanwhile, Gal Gadot was offered the chance to play Nebula. Now, that would have left the Justice League looking very different. Now, do you like my T-shirt? You can get one too. The link is in the description.